Hey, if you're new here, then welcome to my channel, Flashback Videos. I really hope you like what I'm going to show you today. And of course, if you're a regular here, then a big thank you for coming back. Today's flashback movie is a biographical comedy drama from 2009, Julie and Julia. Contrasting the life of chef Julia Child in the early years of her culinary career with the life of young New Yorker Julie Powell. As usual, if you like what you see, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then you could even subscribe to the channel. I mean, it doesn't cost anything, and it really helps me out. Okay, so with all that being said, let's get on with it. Nora Ephron both directed the movie and wrote the screenplay, which was based on the books by Julie Powell and Julia Childs. Julie and Julia was released by Columbia Pictures in August 2009, with a running time of just over two hours. It was filmed in New Jersey with a budget of around $40 million, and it went on to gross almost $130 million worldwide. Frustrated with a soul-killing job, New Yorker Julie Powell embarks on a daring project. She vows to prepare all 524 recipes in Julia Child's landmark cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking. I had expected this movie to be good, but it was even better than I expected. Humour is one of the driving forces of the movie, but that doesn't take away from some of the more serious moments. Rather, it accentuated them, and made them all the more poignant and even heartbreaking at times. Of course, as I said, one of the actors taking centre stage in the movie is megastar Meryl Streep, who was born in New Jersey in 1949 and plays the enthusiastic and unabashed Julia Childs, who moves to Paris in the 1950s to learn French cooking. Having made her movie debut in Julia in 1978, the three-time Oscar winner has an impressive list of successful movies to her name, including Kramer vs. Kramer, Sophie's Choice, The Devil Wears Prada and The Iron Lady. Meryl lived with actor John Cazale for three years until he died of cancer in 1978, something she says she never got over. Currently living in Connecticut, she went on to marry sculptor Don Gummer and they have four children. Born in Italy in 1974, American actress Amy Lou Adams played the part of the other heroine of the movie, Julie Powell, who, fed up with her full-time job, challenges herself to master all the recipes in Julia Child's landmark cookbook. Having begun her career as a dancer in the mid-90s, Amy made her movie debut with a supporting role in the dark comedy Drop Dead Gorgeous in 1999. Her first major role came in 2002's Catch Me If You Can, and since then she starred in the likes of June Bug and Enchanted, going on to play Lois Lane in superhero movies of the DC Extended Universe. Living in Beverly Hills, Amy has been married to actor and painter Darren Legallo since 2010, and they have a daughter together. Julia's constantly reassigned diplomat husband, Paul Child, was played by accomplished American actor and filmmaker Stanley Tucci Jr., who was born in New York in 1960. He made his movie debut in 1985's Prizzy's Honor, and has also teamed up with Streep in the hit movie The Devil Wears Prada. Other well-known movies featuring Tucci include Road to Perdition, Spotlight, and of course, the Hunger Games movie series. Tucci's first wife, social worker Catherine Spath, whom he married in 1995, died of cancer in 2009. Now living in London, he married British literary agent Felicity Blunt in 2012. Julie Powell's initially supportive husband Eric is played by the American actor, director and writer Christopher Messina, who was born in New York in 1974 perhaps best known for starring as Danny Castellano in the romantic comedy The Mindy Project. Messina began his acting career in the late 90s and had a small part in You've Got Mail, but since then he's starred in the likes of Argo, Birds of Prey and in the miniseries Sharp Objects with co-star Amy Adams. He was married to actress Rosemary DeWitt until 2006, but is currently married to producer Jennifer Todd and they have two children together. The role of Madame Elizabeth Brassard of Le Cordon Bleu, where Julia studied French cooking, was played by American actress and writer Joan Juliet Book, who was once the editor-in-chief of French Vogue and was born in California in 1948. Best known for her journalistic accomplishments, 
Joan was contributing editor to Vogue and Vanity Fair for many years, and still writes for Harper's Bazaar. Currently living in New York, Joan was once married to English journalist and writer John Heilpern, but they were divorced back in the 80s. American actress, comedian and author Jane Marie Lynch was born in Illinois in 1960 and played the part of Julia's sister, Dorothy Dean Cousins, best known to most as Sue Sylvester in the musical comedy series Glee. Jane has starred in numerous other comedy hits, including The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Paul, and The Three Stooges. She has also lent her voice to numerous animated movies, including Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, Shrek Forever After, and Wreck-It Ralph. Jane was married to Lara Embry from 2010 till 2014, and in 2021 she married her longtime partner, Jennifer Chain, in Santa Barbara, California. One of Julia's collaborating authors on her book, Simone Beck, was played by Linda Marie Emmond, who was born in New Jersey in 1959. Perhaps best known for her work on the small screen, Linda has had recurring roles in a number of New York-based TV shows, such as The Good Wife, Law and Order Special Victims Unit, and Gossip Girl. In addition to her TV work, Linda has worked extensively in theatres, particularly on Broadway. Not one of the most well-known actors in Hollywood, Helen Carey was born in Boston in 1944, played the part of the other collaborator on the book, Louisette Bertoli, who was less than diligent in her efforts on the project. As I said before, not the most prolific actress. Linda did have a small supporting role in The Pelican Breathe with Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington, and has also appeared in 21 and the next three days. Julie's friend Cassie was played by Vanessa Felito, who was born in New York in 1977 and is best known as Detective Aidan Byrne in CSI New York and as Claudia Hernandez in 24. She's also appeared in several movies including Spider-Man 2, Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps and Stand Up Guys. Before becoming an actress, single mother Vanessa was a Wilhelmina model and a New York City club kid. Another of Julie's friends, Regina, was played by American actress and comedian Catherine Rose Casey Wilson, who was born in Virginia in 1980. Having made her movie debut as an acting student in the final scene of For Your Consideration in 2006, she has since appeared in movies such as The Breakup Girl, Gone Girl and The Meddler. Living in Los Angeles, Casey has been married to comedy writer David Cast since 2014 and they have two children. As I said at the beginning, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe got something out of it, even if you don't decide to watch the movie. Once again, please don't forget to smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel. You know you want to. And remember, it's free.